If you're an expert coach, consultant, course creator, and you want to generate more leads and sales for your business, then this is going to be absolutely deadly for you because we're looking at seven laws that increase leads and sales inside an expert coach or consulting business. By the way, if you're new here, every single week I am dropping videos and deep dives into how to create more leads and sales for your expert business. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll never miss any of these ever again. And of course, it's super valuable for you to know that not only have I built an extensive coaching business myself, but my coaching has impacted hundreds of experts, coaches, and consultants to grow their businesses to points in which they never thought was possible. Uh, in fact, we've actually got seven now who have come through our coaching programs who have broken the six figures a month mark in their expert coaching and consulting businesses, which actually takes that up to over and well over seven figure businesses. But without further ado, we're going to step number one, if your product doesn't get results the majority of the time, then that needs fixed before you go on with the rest of this video. And it's totally fine if at this stage you go away and you go and work on that. If your product is not getting people results, you are not gonna have an extensive seven figure coaching business. It's just not gonna happen because uh, you're gonna get found out way before that ever happens, okay? You need to have results coming into the business. People need to be able to see the results that are coming into the business and you need to be able to share that in a way in which it gets other people interested in working with you. So if your business doesn't currently get results, you're really, really gonna struggle to grow that coaching business. It's gonna be a big, big slog to try and get one and two sales here and there at any given time. You really need to focus on how you're gonna get results for your clients before you focus on how you're gonna get the next one after that which merges us nicely into number two as well, which is to focus on creating, gathering, and sharing an abundance of proof, okay? So in an expert coaching, consulting, or course creator type business, it is the absolute lifeblood of the business to be able to, first of all, get people results, second of all, to extract those results and be able to share them with the rest of the world. It is gonna be the biggest mover of action from people who are interested in what you have to share to actually go out there and get, the, and get in touch with you to go and get the results for themselves. Okay, they need to see that other people have done it and not just you have the smarts or you're very articulate with your words. They need to see that other people have actually gone through your systems and gone out there and got the results that they themselves are currently looking for. So if we break that into the three, first of all, creating the proof, the way that that happens is by actually working closely with the people who purchase from you to help them actually go and get the results. So making sure that they are in the best position possible to get the results, which also means that, especially if you're in a coach create, uh, a coaching or course creator type format, that you're always updating and making sure that everything is as relevant as humanly possible. It's something that I spend so much time on myself is actually going back into the courses I already have and making sure that they are 100% optimized to the very second that we're in right now. The second thing is gathering that proof. You need to go out there and actually ask them for it or encourage ways for you to actually get hold of that proof for yourself. Like for instance, in the last uh, 24, 48 hours, um, inside the, the Facebook group for the 16 Week Digital Market Program, we had Jay, who uh, he's very recently joined, first Facebook ad campaign. He posted inside the group that he had, uh, he had got 17 booked calls in the first three days and it had equated to over 35,000 pounds of sales closed already. Uh, number two, uh, Scott Davidson, he posted saying that he had already closed uh, 3,600 of sales plus had other people asking for quotes from him within 48 hours of joining the course and uh, Right now, it was about half an hour ago, uh, just before I started filming, Jen and Emma got in touch with me about their paid challenge that, that they use the, the program for and the ads for, as well as the funnels that we have inside the program. 
and they had their paid challenge out there and before even starting their challenge, they're in thousands of pounds of profit uh, because they've managed to get something like 162 people into this paid challenge, included uh, one in four people taking an order bump as well. So they got in touch with me, I can now extract those and two ways of doing this. First of all, screenshots. So I took screenshots of those ones um, and I put them out on social media and people instantly went ahead and booked calls, okay? Second to that, I got in touch with Jay specifically and I said to him, would you mind throwing that into video format so that I can share that story with the rest of the world as well? Um, it is very inspiring to know that somebody can take the bull by the horns and come into a program like this, go and get incredible results in a very short space of time. And it's also great for marketing to be able to take that video and put it into testimonial video format. So that can go out as a Facebook ad, a YouTube ad, it can go out on my website pages, it can go out anywhere. So I can actually now take the screenshot images from these people and I can put it out there um, as proof um, and then second of all I can actually get videos from these people to uh, to then put out as uh, YouTube ads, Facebook ads etc etc to gather even more leads and sales for the business. Which takes us nicely to number three which is do not be afraid of giving up time or resources for free to get people to that next step within the business. Now, we were just there talking about uh, focusing on creating, gathering, and sharing proof. However, uh, giving away stuff for free means stuff like consultation calls, strategy calls, um, you know, your time on webinars, um, information in terms of uh, lead magnets and downloads, all of these things, even your social media content as well. So don't ever be afraid of giving up your time for free. A lot of people make out that this is this like terrible thing of like, why would you give up your, your time for free? Like everybody should, every minute that you work, you should get paid. Well, hey, especially if you're a new coach, that is not the case. And if you wanna be making any sort of high ticket sales, you're gonna want stepping stones in place and an abundance of people on calls to be able to make those, those sales as well. So don't be afraid of giving up your time for free to get people to that next step of the customer journey of going from complete stranger to paying customer. Don't be afraid to give up your time to make that happen. Even to take people from customer to higher paying customer, don't be afraid to give up a little bit of your time there to have those conversations to move people through that customer journey as well. It's a very, very positive thing to do in your uh, expert coaching or consulting business. So 100% get it out of your head that you shouldn't be doing anything for free. Uh, doing things for free when they're methodical and they're, uh, they're well positioned is something that is gonna massively grow your expert coaching or consulting business. Number four is more value, more sales. So many people are so scared about putting out anything that is of significant value because they think that people won't buy from them. Every single good marketer out there will tell you that uh, it's a sticking point to get over. Everybody had to do it at one time or another. I had to do it at one time or another. And once you've actually gone there and done that and started putting out extensive pieces of copy or extensive videos or extensive videos just like this, where we walk through things in a lot of detail and give away a lot of things that you can actively use right now and go and get results for yourself, that always ends in more leads and sales. This one we can actually wrap up quite easily, to be honest, where we can actually just say, hey, here's a challenge, take even two or three weeks where you go above and beyond with the type of content you put out there. You put out longer form pieces of content. You put out more extensive, more usable content for free. And you put it out there to your audience and you tell me afterwards if your sales actually rose at the end of that. It is almost always something that impacts sales directly in a very, very short space of time and it's something that just about every expert coach and consultant is super, super scared to do. And once you do it, you'll get a bug for it and you'll actually be looking at how can I provide more value, more value, more value, more value because you'll know that, hey, 
the better the content I put out on the front end, the better the results on the back end of the business. Number five, keep some surprises for after people have actually purchased from you. This is something that you know most people in the expert coaching or consultant space are actually under delivering on whatever it is that they actually sell. However, a big thing that you should be doing inside the business is finding ways to impress them with things that weren't even advertised. An amazing quote, one of my favorites ever by Rory Sutherland is, we disproportionately appreciate the things that a business did not have to do for us. So ask yourself what that thing could be for your expert coaching or consulting business. What is unadvertised that you could do for your customer? Is it just simply going above and beyond what they thought they were gonna get from you? Uh, is it that it's something very specific that you do for all customers either straight after they've purchased or at the end of their customer journey with you? Think about what that thing could be because First of all, it creates an incredible connection with your customer. Second of all, massively reduces refunds. Thirdly, massively increases the amount of people who refer their friends. And number four, the amount of people that will ascend through the customer journey because of it is absolutely night and day as well. Number six is test everything before you go and make it, okay? So test everything on a small scale or even on a tiny scale and then go and create after that. Experts, coaches, and consultants always need to be flexible with what they're creating to engage their customers or potential customers and get them to the point in which they might wanna make a purchase. And one of the worst things that you can do is eat up a ton of your time by doing that thing that we've seen it a million times. You might be one of the, the people that have done it, where you'll spend four or five months going, something special's coming, something special's coming, like, all this intrigue, but never saying what it actually is or even alluding to exactly what it is. And all it does is not reaffirm that this is something that the market actually wants. In fact, when I'm talking about testing everything on a small scale and then going ahead and making the product or making the lead magnet or making whatever it is, this episode right here is off the back of me going into Instagram, me going into insights and seeing which posts of mine have had the most saves ever. And I was going in and the ones that were getting the most saves, that was telling me, hey, this hit the nail on the head so well that this had a ton of people actually hitting the save button, the button that many people don't even know is there on Instagram, okay? And this episode was created off the back of that. So instead of me creating a 25 minute episode here that's got tons of value in it for it to fall on deaf ears, potentially, or just not hit the nail on the head for you, I can actually take what's already worked as a small uh, carousel post and I can then expand on it and speak to you about how we look into these in depth and take your coaching business to the next level. So really think about what you can do before going and creating the course or creating the new product or uh, creating the lead magnet to instead of spending weeks and possibly months on building, putting it out there and saying, hey, would you be interested in this? Or putting out content around the subject and seeing which ones perform best or just looking at the content you've already put out there and go into the insights and see which ones perform best. Which ones, uh, wh which of your YouTube videos uh, had the highest watch time percentage? Uh, what of your uh, Instagram posts had the most saves? Which of your Facebook posts had the most shares? You know, we can look into all these stats and very, very quickly find out what people actually are looking for in our marketplace, and then we can go and create the bigger products, the bigger lead magnets, the bigger systems in place to make that happen for them on a much bigger scale. So before you create anything extensive in your expert or coaching business, if we want more success and less time in failure, this is one of the key things that you need to do with your marketing to make sure it is always efficient and always moving the sales north. And number seven, and one of the most important things in the world, if you're in business, focus on your current customers. They're always the priority and they are the easiest way for you to grow your business. Whether you've got a recurring revenue product where keeping your customers 
is a lot easier and cheaper than finding new ones or you've got a customer journey where people buy this product and then they have the option of buying subsequent products afterwards. We want the customer journey to actually take place because they had a good experience at each step of that customer journey. So focusing on your current customers is the easiest way to uh, grow an expert coaching or consulting business but most experts, coaches or consultants that I speak to are always talking about need to get more eyes in the business, need to get more attention, need to get more of this and the other. It's always focused on people who are complete strangers. It's not even talking about warm audiences a lot of the time. Most experts, coaches and consultants that I speak to before they come into the 16 week digital marketing program are always focused on strangers. Their marketing methods, their thinking around their business is all about people who have no idea who they are and they wanna get their attention. That's a really tough way to grow a coaching business. Focusing on people who have already bought from you before or are currently buyers right now is the easiest way to, to grow a coaching business. And not only will they stay with you longer and potentially uh, go through your customer journey and ascend into new, more expensive products and services, they're also the people who can refer friends who come with zero cost, zero price bargaining, and they just sign up to your products and services right away. So if you really wanna grow that coaching business, make your current customers a massive, massive priority within your business. And finally, if you're looking to get more leads and sales into your expert coaching or consulting business, or course creator business of course, then you can actually redeem a 15 minute call with myself or my team this week by going into the description below and finding that free lead generation audit strategy session. We're gonna take a quick look at your socials, your email strategy, and your uh, paid advertising strategy to see what's working, what's not, what's completely untapped, and what the easiest things are for you and your business to grow your sales. So you can redeem that down below if there's any spaces left this week, and I'll see you on that call. And one last thing, if you haven't done it already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and finally, hit that notification bell, and you'll never miss any of these deep dives ever again. I'll see you on that next video.